Before we jump into today's video, be sure to head on over to rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of goodies, including butter toffee peanuts, lemon pepper beef jerky, and our brand new chicken and waffles popcorn. Your nose is crooked. She got an under and an overbite. The bitch is in Dubai getting shit on. Hazel Lee is living her best life. She ain't going black and forth with you, bitch. <laughs> She's living her white life. In one of our previous Red Flag videos, we mentioned that reality star Hazel E. was once in a disastrous relationship with comedian Cat Williams. Many people in the comment section were unaware that these two were even an item, even though their relationship flooded the headlines at the time. So we thought we'd take a trip back down memory lane to explore this hot, stinking mess. Hazel wasn't clear on the exact date she and Kat met, but she told Vlad TV that their first interaction went down many years ago, and it wasn't a, quote, pleasant encounter. Then, Kat started watching Love & Hip Hop Hollywood and became a fan of the show. There was a scene he was like, I think it was a Minti me and Tia were moving out, and this is so exclusive, he's gonna kill me. Oh no! He said, all she needs is a place to live. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> they exchanged numbers and started talking on the phone. Hazel admitted to Vlad TV that Kat invited her to his suite at a West Hollywood hotel. Once she arrived, he treated her like a queen. They vibed, and she said from that day forward, she never left his side. In December 2014, she confirmed to Sister to Sister magazine that they were an item. She said, it's still new, exciting, and refreshing. I still blush when I see him, and that's every day. Cat was feeling her too. He called Hazel a beautiful person and said she brought a lot of positive energy into his life. They moved in together and she went out on tour with him. Hazel later bragged to TMZ that Cat dropped $100,000 on her the first week they met. Their first 15 months together were blissful. Although she noticed Cat had a reputation for being a hothead, she said she experienced a different side to him behind closed doors. He would wake up every morning and read the Bible. He also wasn't out there in them streets like she thought he would be. Instead, he would work and then head straight back home to hang out with her. If you know him, it's to know him that he's a genius and he's very nice and humble. Apparently, Cat was putting it down so good, she went out and got tat 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 it up and inked his entire name right above her whisker biscuit. In 2015, she found out she was expecting, but sadly, she lost the baby. Hazel told Vlad TV that they handled the loss differently. Cat was too disappointed to be supportive when Hazel needed him to be there for her as a friend. They broke up and reconciled a few times, and by Christmas 2015, Kat was back to showering Hazel with all the love and attention she desired. Hazel even showed TMZ the brand new Porsche he bought her for the holidays. She also bragged to photographers that Kat bought them a new house in the hills. By the start of 2016, Hazel was living her best life after Kat paid for her to get her cheeks and lady lumps inflated. But as for Kat, he was dealing with all sorts of issues. Within a two-week time period, he was locked up in Gainesville, Georgia for putting his hands on a store clerk, he got into an altercation in Los Angeles with men who were making fun of his height, and five women accused him of pointing a weapon at them at an Atlanta hotel. While this was all going down, Hazel was photographed looking cozy with rapper Bobo Norco. Bobo released a statement saying he wasn't trying to steal Cat's girl. He added that he and Hazel were just having an innocent conversation about his new clothing line inside of a Hollywood hotel. But anyway, Cat was eventually put under investigation by a Georgia sheriff's office for allegedly beating his bodyguard with a bat. In March 2016, while Hazel was at his house to gather some of her belongings, the cops raided the place. Hazel E. told TMZ the authorities pointed weapons at her chest as they searched through the home. They later found several weapons and large quantities of MJ. Hazel was detained but was later released. As for Cat, he was locked up on several charges. Hazel hoped the raid would be a wake-up call for the comedian, and she urged him to get help for his inner struggles. She told TMZ that if Cat agreed to receive some kind of treatment, she would consider another reconciliation. But until then, they were officially on a break. While out on bail, Cat addressed Hazel dumping him in an interview with Chicago Takeover. He said, What y'all saw was one of my players put themselves on the bench, and they allowed to do that at any point. But perhaps Hazel made the right decision to step away because Cat wasn't done being a menace to society. He was locked up in Atlanta for throwing a salt shaker at a restaurant worker and was filmed roughing up a teenager. 
After that incident, Hazel took to her Instagram to reveal that Kat was suffering from paranoid bipolar schizophrenia. Although they were spotted out together again in June 2016, Hazel took a huge step to end things by getting her tattoo covered up in 2017. 36-year-old Hazel eventually moved on with 18-year-old Rose Burgundy. Kat hopped on Instagram Live to clown Hazel and her new boy toy. Remember she showed up with that little boy that was like 19? And she had that big out there on mother red carpets and shit with a bow tie on. He also claimed he was the one who broke up with Hazel after finding out she didn't believe in God. He proceeded to go in on Hazel's looks by pondering how she could be light-skinned and ugly at the same time. He also addressed all of Hazel's recent trips to Dubai by stating the men over there were using Hazel as a human toilet. In June 2018, trouble came knocking again when federal agents showed up at Hazel's front door. Kat had already been hit with over $4 million in tax liens, but according to TMZ, the feds were investigating some of his other financial dealings, and they wanted to have a little chat with Hazel to see if she would give up any information. Apparently, all the flexing and bragging that Hazel did in regard to the gifts Kat had bought her made its way back to the feds. The agents wanted to know if Kat was hiding money and whether or not she opened any accounts for him under her name. As of this video, the status of the investigation is unknown. After another period of separation, Kat realized he lost a good thing. During an October 2018 Instagram Live, he received a notification that Hazel was in the chat. Knowing he had her full attention, he told her, Hazel E, please come back. I made a mistake. I won't smoke no more, please. I'll quit. Whatever crack you saw me smoke, that'll be the last time, baby, please. But before Hazel could even think about giving him another chance, he put her right back into some mess. In January 2019, she stepped off a plane and was served with a subpoena. In an Instagram post, Hazel said the case was regarding Kat, and she planned on testifying against him in an undisclosed case. Hazel eventually moved on with Davon Waller. They welcomed a child together before Hazel filed for divorce in December 2022. As for Kat, he racked up a few more charges, but he's been out of trouble for the past few years and has stayed focused on his career. Now that Hazel is one step closer to being legally single, we wouldn't be surprised if these two reconnected again in the near future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow us on TikTok for more content, like daily news updates and mini documentaries. And thanks for watching RRG.